Oh, look at that, guys. I had no idea this was in here. Sweet. Optimus Prime. What's in the lunchbox? And again, credit to my mom for saving all this stuff. And shipping it to me before they cleared out their house. Alright guys, today I am doing something a little unusual, a little different. An unboxing of hip boots. <laughs> uh, this is a box that I packed when I was in college. January 10th, 2000. So that was, geez, 21 years ago. It said episode one, Star Wars figures, 29 figures, David, save, 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 save. Basically, my parents don't throw this away. Now, I cleared out the episode uh, one figures. Those were all the Phantom Menace figures. I don't have those anymore. But I used this box to put some of my other old vintage toys and remnants that I had from my childhood. And I shipped this to the East Coast when I moved over here you know, about 20 years ago almost. So I have a good idea of what's in here, but I don't know everything that's in here. And I recently found another packet of papers. So I thought it'd be fun for you guys just to see this little glimpse of my childhood. If you grew up in the 80s like me, uh, I was born late 70s, grew up in the early 80s, mid 80s. So here you go. An unboxing you don't see every day. Now that, nothing too special there. That was actually, what was this? 1997 so this was must have been like the I don't know 15th anniversary or something like that of these figures I think I got this three pack of Toys R Us uh, just for nostalgia when I was in college but anyway here you go look at this this is Batmobile I had to look this up before doing the video this is a Batmobile from Mego, what does it say? I held it the right way. It says 1980 DC Comics Mego Corporation made in Hong Kong. Fortunately, a little bit broken. The steering wheel's broken off. The canopy doesn't stay anymore. It's snapped. The tabs are snapped at the sides. But there you go. Old Batmobile. And I know I have a couple figures that go with that. Superpowers, guys. Got the old comic books. Lex Luthor versus Superman. Oh, yeah, I remember that vehicle. I used to have that, uh, that jet. And there's Lex. Got Lex Luthor. Still got the arm motion. It's actually not in bad shape. Superman here. Something is stuck. His cape is stuck to his hair there. It looked like it melted a little bit. Oh, and his arm popped off. Oh, look, he's still got the motion there. I remember these guys. The way they were made, their, uh, their joints would just pop right off sometimes when you're playing with them. So you got Superman, Lex... Green Arrow, this was one of my favorite figures as a kid. Squeeze his legs, his arms pop up. He came with a bow and a couple arrows, which I have. Look at that. He got two arrows there and a bow. He's in pretty good shape. He's got an Aquaman with his trident. There you go. And this guy would kick his legs, I believe. Squeeze his arms. You know, a little leg kick. I used to take him in the bathtub with me when I was like five or whatever. Uh, and then Green Green Lantern. His legs are a little bit loose. These guys were well played with. There's his lantern. But I really took care of my toys most part. I really I didn't I tried not to lose pieces, parts. Tried to keep them together. Oh, there's his ring, yeah. So, Green Lantern. And then the last one here is Hawkman. Where's his leg? There's his leg. Another great figure. Now, he used to have a mace. Oh, yeah, it's here. Look at that. 
There you go. So, how many of you guys watching this had these guys as kids? I know there's some folks still collect these. Okay, all right, these are the old, wow, well, these are the old Batman. All right, so these guys went with the Batmobile. We got two Batmans, they're kind of gummy. The rubber's a little gooey. What does it say there? Hong Kong, 1979. Same thing here, 1979 Hong Kong. You got a Spider-Man with a busted leg and his head is glued on. I remember my mom super gluing his head on. These guys, the heads used to pop off. You twist them and, and pop them. And as a kid, I broke a couple of them. You got Robin with a piece, piece of scotch tape around his neck. Jeez. Obviously to hold his cape on, which fell off. Oh, it snaps. So it used to be embedded in there. So his cape snapped off. And then I got a original Hulk's. Yep, he's still good. His head still turns. That's a great figure. When is that guy from? Hong Kong, Marvel, 1975? 1975, is that right? Wow. Spider-Man. Spider-Man 1975 as well. So if you know anything about these figures, let me know. I don't really collect these, but I just had them from my childhood. But good piece of nostalgia there. So I'm going to set those guys aside. All right, let's dig a little deeper, shall we? Oh, yeah. Now, this is crazy. I don't know if anybody knows what this is. This is a tower that he built. It came with Wonder Woman. I don't have Wonder Woman anymore, and this is all I have of the invisible jet that's left. The wings are snapped off, tail's gone. But let's see, yeah, canopy is still there. Canopy still works, the seat is there. And the rope ladder is in there. This thing had a, uh, a rope ladder feature. And I can't get it out. Basically, you could twi twist the tail. And it's all jammed in there. I'm not going to risk breaking or anything. But you got the original string in there. And the rope ladder would drop down. And then she could fly around and pick people up. Anyway, this tower is pretty cool. I did look at this before I started this video. It, all the pieces are here. It, it assembles on this base. It uh, pegs together. And then the you get little pegs, so you just build it. And it came with a um, exploding of like a dynamite button thing that you would push and put under the tower and you'd blow it up i remember playing with this a lot as a kid so you get the first four pieces kind of tuck them in put this on here ah see how how fragile it is I'm come around here to the side when that broke it was when I was a kid I remember that's been broken as far as I can remember so there you go you get the tower there and then it came with this like I think it was like an air powered like plunger thing that you would put under here and push it and blow up the tower pretty cool little toy um I'm amazed I still have all the pieces for that so I'm gonna set that guy aside here oh, this is fun yeah look at all that Get some old old trading cards. I used to collect the comic book cards. This probably would have been in the like early 90s. So these are some of the hologram cards. Flare 94. 
Remember the Marvel Masterpieces, those were cool. Yeah, this is it here, 1992 Marvel Masterpiece, Thing versus Hulk. That's a cool one. It's Red Skull and Captain America. 94 card packet there. What are these? DC Bloodlines. Oh, it's a foil face card. The Man of Tomorrow. Yeah, that was a whole Death of Superman arc. So I got some cards. Oh, old Lego. What is this? That's not that old. That must be early 2000s. 2002. See, I got some random stuff in here, too. Oh, a couple more cards. Got a Clark Kent and Lois Lane. 1991 DC hologram hall of fame oh this is one I liked a lot I remember this this is this is you know, it's hard to see but this is Venom versus Spider-Man 3D hologram Marvel 1993 Marvel Universe yeah, and then here's a Carnage hologram card same thing those are cool I'm so excited when you find those in a pack of cards I buy those as a kid at the comic shop and All right, Mask. I was big into Mask for a while. My friends and I would play this all the time. Uh, I probably had, you know, maybe, I don't know, 10 or so of the vehicles. I remember selling them all at a yard sale. Except for the Jeep. I kept the Jeep because I always liked it. And for some reason, I had this little life raft thing. So, and tech, forgive me, I forget the names of the guys. But here's the guy with the Jeep. So he's there with his helmet. Got the little uh, robot buddy guy. Got the little kid. Oh man, what was the kid's name? I want to say like Sam or something. All right, this guy went with the life raft. So I got these guys. Got the bomb for the Jeep. Goes back here. Oh, look at that. There's the motor for the jet and one flipper. I don't know if the other flipper's in here. Nope, it's not. It's gone. Oh, there you go. A little bit of mask. I just thought those vehicles, that, that, of course, we watched the cartoon like every day when it was on. And the, the toys were awesome. Lots of playable playability, lots of shooting parts and transforming pieces and spring-loaded stuff. Cool story, cool characters, cool villains. Yeah, that is a... Uh, it's pretty cool to see that. All right, look at this, guys. Millennium Falcon Cannon. This one's broken. The two of the pegs are snapped. I think this was my original, and then I think I got a replacement. When I um I found a replacement one that I ended up putting on my my Millennium Falcon later, but I still have this original. It's kind of yellow. The gray has turned yellow on the top. That's cool. Find in there. I didn't realize that was in there. Look at these. Return of the Jedi. Kenner Star Wars Collection. I got two of these. Pretty rough shape. I mean, they look like they're taped up. I used to read all of these. You know, I just love this stuff. Of course, I was pretty young, probably, you know. When did that come out? That must have been... Yeah, I was like seven or eight when... Um, I mean, I was five years old when Return of the Jedi came out, so... And the toys later, so it was those five, those years of five, six, seven, eight. Kind of those prime years of playing with Star Wars toys. I still have most of my uh, vintage figures. I did another video just showing off what I have left there. There's the Falcon. I always wanted the AT-AT. -AT. My parents wouldn't spring for that. It was too expensive. I know I have more Star Wars in here. <laughs> Check this out, guys. There he is. Storm Shadow himself. This was my uh, figure I played with. 
Probably my favorite G.I. Joe figure. Just thought the accessories were awesome. The backpack, the claw, the red sword, which I hope is in here somewhere. Oh no, the red sword's not there. I'll have to find it. But I had saved the card. I don't even know what possessed me to save the card, but I just I must have thought, hey, that's cool. It's even got the little, uh, whatever this is, Maneuvers Manual. Some mail away promotion thing. 1987 Hasbro Inc. I think that's the only card I have like this. I had to, I didn't save those. I I cut them up for the um, you know for all the, the profile cards on the back. Oh, I gotta find his sword. It's this another. Hologram, oh, that's a Spider-Man 4 of 4, 1994 first edition hologram card. Superman card. Ah, look at this. You know, I said this originally had Star Wars figures in it. This is a receipt from Fred Meyer. And I've got, I don't know, there's probably 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18 figures on here from Phantom Menace. I think they were all on sale. That yeah, two eighty eight each. And I bought 20 of them or so, whatever, 18 of them. It's kind of cool. Some old packaging. No cards in there, just the foil packaging. University of Alaska Fairbanks. You know anybody who went there? Ah, uh, yes. Look at this. Oh, wow. All right, I was wrong. Look at those. Oh, okay, these are some of the newer ones. 1991. A Firefly. And it's all ripped up. I didn't think to be real careful when I pulled the the you know uh, the bubbles off 199 pathfinder 1989 so firefly pathfinder frag viper he was cool he had the grenades came out of his backpack 1989 oh yeah some of these ninja force guys there's storm shadow there he is 1991 nunchuck Dice, Slice, Metalhead, Laser Viper, Salvo. So this was when, geez, I must have been, I was almost into high school, so I think I was getting out of G.I. Joe at the time. But something possessed me to save these cards, which is, that's pretty cool. There's the Snake Eyes. Blue Snake Eyes. Snow Serpent, General Hawk. KB Toys, $4.99. Oh, yeah, Snow Serpent. I remember this was, this was a cool figure. I think I got that when I was on vacation visiting my cousin. We were both into G.I. Joe. Shout out to you, Jason, if you're watching. Those were good times, right? Sky Patrol. I don't even remember this guy. Cardboard. Got a bunch of file cards in here. Look at that. Hooded Cobra Commander. Rock and Roll. Target. Yeah, that flying guy. Haha, <laughs> Crimson Guard. Nice. Lieutenant Falcon. Dr. Mindbender. That's a character they got to do in the Classified series right there. Sci Fi. He was cool. Secto Viper. Yeah, he drove the Cobra Bug submarine. Zorana, Track Viper. Oh yeah, this is his two tank. Oh, look at this original uh, Cobra Infantry. That's pretty cool. I got a bunch more file cards too. I know somewhere else with, uh, with my old figures. Oh, look at this. All these proofs of purchase, all these flag points. I cut those out of everything I bought. 
and I did the, the mail away programs. Here's this maneuvers thing. Oh, okay. Ship my transport equipment quickly. You put in 10 bucks and three flag points and you get the amphibious personnel character, car carrier, or the patrol pocket patrol pack with Starduster, 450 and two flag points. 10 bucks for that thing. That's an awesome vehicle. I still have that one. That's cool. I have both those things. I must have sent away for them. Look at that. All these flag points. Let's see here. Oh, three more cards. There's a Wolverine hologram card. That's from 1992 Marvel. Another hologram. Oh, that one's Venom. Three of four. Must be that same Spider-Man line. I don't know if they're, if they're yellowed or not. I'll see. And another Carnage. That's cool. What's in the lunchbox? What's in the lunchbox? G.I. Joe. Look at all this stuff. Oh, here's the front of the lunchbox. <laughs> 1986. I think I actually used this lunchbox for school. I think I actually took this to school as a kid. And then, uh, when I was too grown up for lunchboxes, I think I started to put my uh, toy paperwork in here. 1990, huh? Attack of the Swamp Creature. So I cut out the back of a card. Oh, who is that guy? Like Nightlight or something? That's cool. These characters. Sky Patrol, Patrol Pack, the Nightshade. Oh yeah, and the Night Force vehicles. Skyhawk, there's an original Skyhawk. Hammer, which one was the Hammer? That was a, that was a big, uh, oh yeah, Jeep vehicle. Most of these I still have. I sold a couple things, but uh, most of these I have you know, heavily played with. Oh yeah, the Dragonfly. That's a great vehicle. A lot of fun with that one. Dreadnought Swampfire. Oh, man. Yeah, I don't think I have that one anymore. I, must, I don't know. I must have gotten rid of some of them. But, but the Rattler. What a great vehicle that is, the Rattler. I remember studying this picture a lot. For Okay, what bomb goes where? What missile goes where? You know? Make sure I did it right. I always wanted to put the toys together the right way. Put all the stickers on the right way, you know? Rolling Thunder. This was a great vehicle. I don't have it anymore. I sold it somewhere. But I remember getting that for Christmas, and I thought that was the coolest thing ever. Just a really cool toy. Cobra Bug. Don't have that either. Snowcat. Is that what this is? Yep. Snowcat. Cobra Pogo. What is this thing? The Swamp Masher. Oh yeah, the one with the three, the, the three wheels. That was kind of fun to play with. Take that outside and run around in the in a stream or something. One of the Cobra Fang 2. This is another one. I remember I did a custom like camouflage paint job on this vehicle. I don't know what. I was into painting my vehicles for a while. Mud Fighter. The Tiger Paw. Night Raider. The Fang. This is a great vehicle. One of my favorite G.I. Joe vehicles is probably the original Fang helicopter. Loaded up with missiles, got a bomb, awesome gun in the front that could shoot any direction. Easy to put a guy in and out. You can spin the rotor really easy. A lot of playability. Tiger Sting. I never really liked all the Tiger Force and Night Force stuff. The Wolf. This is a great vehicle. Great Cobra. Cobra Wolf. Snow vehicle. Real fun. It's that Pogo thing again. The Defender. 
What is it called? Coastal Defender. Yeah, this is a like a cargo box that would turn into kind of a mobile battle station, radar station. Got the watchtower. Oh yeah, the Dreadnoughts Air Skiff. That was Zanzibar, is that who it was? Yeah, that guy. That's cool. Thunderclap. Pulverizer, the Badger, oh look at this, Sky Striker, that's awesome, see I'm pretty sure I got my Sky Striker at a yard sale, so I, the guy must have the instructions with it, what do I got, just more pieces, of, so I circled that vehicle, maybe that was my wish list or something. Cobra Battle Gear Accessory Pack. Tiger Force. Oh, there's the wetsuit guy. What was his name? Wetsuit. <laughs> See, I don't remember all the names. There's some of the older ones. Yeah, I love these, these advertisements showing all the figures. Three flag points. Operation Deep Six, Lampreys, Moto Viper, the Admiral, Jungle Kit. Oh yeah, that's right when they sold makeup, right? It was like to put on your. Oh my goodness, I got one of them here. GI Joe face camouflage, Hurricane Blue. There you go. So you're a muskrat fan. You can you can put makeup on like him. Look at that. Bunch of these, yeah, a bunch of these pamphlets from the same era. A whole bunch of them. Some more cutouts of different figures. That's cool. What is that? I like the artwork on this. Ooh, it's a rough shape. Serpentor. Very nice. And the Terror Drum. Uh, good times, right? Good times, good times. Space Shuttle. So that's a more modern set. Oh, that's right. Destro. The Iron Grenadiers. The Enemy. And there's my Storm Shadow. Older ones. Oh yeah. I'm sure a bunch of you guys sent away for this guy, didn't you? Make, make your own hero. The S Steel Brigade. Yep, join the Steel Brigade. I thought that was so cool. I was really disappointed when he came actually and he didn't like look like me. I thought he was gonna have like a face that looked like my face. Oh my goodness, here it is. Code, net, code name Arrowhead Army. Primary specialty, martial arts. Secondary specialty, counter espionage. Weapon specialty, reflex crossbow, expert all NATO and Warsaw Pact, small arms, jujitsu, karate, throwing stars, <laughs> military intelligence school, jungle warfare, emergency medicine school. Oh, this is funny. Arrowhead is in a league by himself. There is no obstacle too great for him as he forges ahead to defeat the Cobra forces. His fellow soldiers are often left trailing behind this natural athlete. All right, I see the bottom's detached, so I must have, like, torn off the bottom, and maybe that was my file card or something. That's cool. So a question for you guys. If you had the Steel Brigade paperwork, did they all say the same stuff here, or was yours different? Did you guys get the same same blurbs or did you guys or are yours different? Just curious. What else we got down here? We got G.I. Joe Dollars Combat Pay. Watch G.I. Joe and you could win. 1990. 
Oh, look, there it is, the patch. Steel Brigade patch. Ooh, old Batman bookmark. Huh. 1989 DC Comics. Oh, what am I holding here, guys? Oh, look at that. Original stickers, 1990. The Badger. I don't know why I didn't put those on. I usually put all the stickers on. It's this this is one of those, oh, the back of the wall, the, like, rope climber thing that went across the zip line. Got the original stickers for that. That backpack thing. That's cool. Just some more pamphlets. What we got here? Something stuck together. Another sticker sheet. I don't know what's on here. This one's for umbilical plug in here. Z0X699. All right. $5 combat. Huh. What that is. And lastly, Cobra Rope Crosser. Well, that was cool. Look at all that stuff. All right. Yeah, G.I. Joe. Last little bag here. Hmm. Bruticus. Yep. I still have this guy. Spatial guy. What was his name? Blast Off. 1986. Cool. This, aha. Look at this, guys. Scout Walker. Sweet. Very cool. Nineteen eighty two. That's awesome. Imperial attack base instruction sheets. Yeah. Still got that. A lot of fun playing with that set. Snow speeder. It's amazing that my mom saved all this stuff. Credit to you, mom. Good job. 1983 Ewok Village. Very cool. Still have that up on my shelf right next to me here. You can watch my other videos, see that, my vintage collection. And I still have the box for that, too. Twin Battle Gun. Back to G.I. Joe here. Oh, there we go. You can tell I like Star Wars more than G.I. Joe. TIE Interceptor. Very cool. Attack Cannon. <laughs> this has got me excited, guys. Just look at this. Star Wars. That's my mom's handwriting. Look at these. These old proofs of purchases that I was going to send away for Kenner 1984. Oh, there's the Tuscan Raider. 1983. There it is. Free the Emperor action figure from Star Wars Return of the Jedi with five proofs of purchase. I did that. I sent it in. Oh, there's the laser cannon. Yeah, still got my Emperor figure. He's right up on the shelf next to me. That's awesome. All this Star Wars stuff. It's in here. Star Wars. Ah. Got the Cap 2. Some more G.I. Joe. Oh, the Mamba. Ooh, some Transformers in here, too. Is that uh, Metroplex? Yeah, it is. 
Very cool. There he is. Metroplex, the walking city. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, okay, some more Transformers uh, advertisements here. And some uh, cards. Look at that. Autobot Inferno. See, I don't even remember having him. Hot Rod. Great figure. Oh, look at that. Beachcomber. That's awesome. 1985. Oh, look. There's the mask card. Wow, I didn't know I had that. Huh. Yeah, the only thing I'm missing is one of the slipper, uh, flippers there. Oh, look at that, guys. I had no idea this was in here. Sweet. Look, Unpunch. What, how, how the heck do I have this? 99 cents. Teddy Bear Toys. Bespin Guard. I don't even have a Bespin Guard figure. Like, I don't have one in my collection. This is amazing. Guys, I just... This making this whole video, I didn't know this was in here. This is awesome. Ah, yeah, you can tell my tone of voice here. This is cool. I don't have much, you know, vintage stuff. I have, you know, modest, small amount. Um, but I had no idea I had a card. And look, it's not even, it was punched, but it didn't come out. So, and it's in good shape. It's not bent. It's not, you know, it's not really creased. That's great. Wow. What else I got here? Ah, you guys know who this is. The original Devastator. Check that out. Yeah. Oh, here's some more. Oh, that's Mask. Okay, got some Mask comics. That one's a little bit messed up on the front. Get two of those. What is this Ghost Rider? Toy Biz Ghost Rider. Oh, that must have been um, must have been a little later in the 90s. 1995, yep. I wasn't buying much toys then. Grimlock, cool. Grimlock, Soundwave, right there, guys. Probably my favorite Finch's Transformer right here. Look at that. Uh, it's a little bit torn there at the end. Beautiful. Soundwave and Devastator. That's a pretty good find. Oh, Mega Supreme. A couple more. What is this? Another Star Wars? Oh, no. That's Mask. Mask Raven. Yeah, I remember that one. I don't have it anymore. I, remember, I must have sold that one. Star Yours. What the heck? I have a Star Yours thing? Star Yours? How do you pronounce that? Star Yours? Whoa. I didn't even know this was in here. I do have a Star Wars figure. I forgot all about that. I think he's mixed up with my kid's Legos. It was like a brown one with a big drill in the middle of his chest. Look at that. Huh. Printed in Japan, 1984. Is that worth anything, guys? Let me know. Jackhammer. So another mask vehicle. Oh, here it is, guys. Look at that. Optimus Prime. Sweet. Now I still have him. He's got like two wheels that are busted, and one of his uh, one of his pi pipes on his arm is snapped. And I don't have. I'm missing some of these. I think the gas can except or the gas accessory there. And the back of the trailer is a little beat or a little something's broken on it. He's, he's pretty beat up, but I still have him, and I actually still have the original shipping box, too, the styrofoam and the brown shipper I got him in. That's cool. All right, last little bit here, guys. What's this? Superpowers. I got another Superpowers comic. This one with Joker, Green Lantern, and Robin. 1983 that down here with these guys. Looks like I got a few more Transformers things here. Who's that? Ah, Blaster. 
Bombshell. Oh, some of the cassette tapes. Steel Jaw and Rewind. And Soundwave and Buzzsaw. Nice. And old Rogue Card. X Men Series 2. Skybox. 1993. Huh. And last but not least, this looks like Hot Rod. Yep. Very cool. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Unfortunately, I don't have any more boxes like this laying around, so this is kind of a one-time deal for me. But I thought it'd be fun. I know those of you that are watching my channel who are toy enthusiasts and collectors probably appreciate seeing this, and it was fun for me to go through it. So I appreciate you watching, and... Uh, Enjoy my other videos, which is all Star Wars Black Series and dioramas. This will be kind of a one-off deal, but uh, that was pretty cool. And again, credit to my mom for saving all this stuff and then shipping it to me before they cleared out their house. Very cool. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, check out my channel, like I said. Appreciate all the support. Uh, give me a like, subscribe, all that stuff. Thanks a lot. May the force be with you.